Today I created this just simple everyday makeup look in under 10 minutes, okay? I hope you guys like this look as much as I do. If you wanna see how I created this just normal everyday kind of natural look, then please keep watching. I love you guys. Thank you so much for stopping by. And don't forget to subscribe, bye. Okay, so we need to get this done in like five minutes, okay? Obviously, like you guys, I don't know if you guys have seen me without, you know, like anything on my face. All I have on my face right now is moisturizer. We have to take care of the brow situation, okay? Yes, I do have, you know, a full brow, I would say, um, but you need to clean it up first thing. So one trick that I use to save time, I use a mascara. And so this is a Elizabeth Arden mascara and it's in brown, okay? And this just, I'll show you guys what I do. So I'm just getting some product, that's what it looks like, okay? And we're just gonna comb it through the brow, okay? And I found this at TJ Maxx for $6, okay? Just get a shade that's close to your complexion because uh, black might be a little bit stark for most people, even for me with a deeper skin tone, okay? So I'm gonna use this and I'm just gonna basically just uh, fill in my brow, okay? That's the first step, see? Okay, just use your spoolie brush uh, or a spool spoolie brush just to move the product around a little bit if you feel like you need to move it around, okay? You don't want any clumps in any one area, okay? Okay, so I'm gonna use my Cargo HD HD concealer in the shade 4W just to clean it up. It's just a concealer that I use all the time. I just wind it up, get a bit on my brow on fleek brush, okay? And we're just gonna clean this up. Okay, it's cleaned up. Well, you have to set this in place. So just some use some loose setting powder to set this in place, okay? And I'm using my Laura Mercier setting powder in medium deep, okay? Okay, so the next thing we're gonna do is uh, we're gonna skip a lot of um, steps today. We're not gonna do all this foundation and all of that. So um, I'm putting on a little bit of color corrector in my problem areas, okay, just to make sure that everything gets covered and my found when I'm done, everything will look seamless, okay? So uh, I'm using Too Faced Prime and Peachy Mattifying Primer, okay? And it's just, you know, that's what it looks like. And we're just gonna put this all, massages all over our face. Okay, here's the big difference. So instead of using foundation, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna use concealer, okay? And this is a Becca concealer, and this is in the shape, shade uh, Deep Bronze. Okay, I picked this up at uh, TJ Maxx. Um, and I think I paid two or three bucks for it in the clearance section. As you can see, this is very close to my complexion and it's the high, it's an aqua luminous, uh, concealer. Okay. And it's, it's a really, really good coverage. I think it's important if you are going to use, uh, concealer as your foundation, then you need to and not use foundation. You really need to make sure that it's close to your complexion. Okay and I'm using just a Dampen Beauty Blender to just blend all of this out, okay? And it, this is the Beauty Blender uh, blender <laughs> that I'm, sponge that I'm using, okay? And I like this because it doesn't take the product away from your skin. You'll end up getting the most out of your product when you use this one. It's 20 bucks for this sponge, okay? Okay, and so that's what that looks like. And I know you guys are looking like, well, damn. Okay, like I'm looking at my face and I can tell like I look at least five years younger by doing that and not putting the foundation. We do need to conceal, well, we need to brighten just a little bit. So I'm just putting a tad. We're not doing, you know, all out kind of thing today. We're just doing this really, really quickly. So I'm just putting a little bit of uh concealer just to brighten these areas, my problem areas. And I did put some of the same concealer over my eyes, so my lids is already primed and ready to go, okay? Okay. Okay, gotta set all of this in place. So I'm using my Laura Mercier setting powder in the shade medium deep, 
okay and I'm just going underneath my eye over my lid and we're just gonna set all of this in place with the loose setting powder okay Okay, so we got to put on a little bit of shadow. Okay, so I'm going to use my Smashbox, and this is like the Shape Matters matte, font, matte, matte Palette, okay? And I'm just going to use this shade right here. I think it's called Spice, okay? And I'm going to put this all over my lid just to give it just a wash of color, okay? Just make sure you blend all of this out. Take it all the way up to the brow, okay? All the way up to your brows, yes. Okay, to give it a little bit of definition, I'm going to use this color here. I believe it's called Blackberry. Okay, and I got this palette on sale at TJ Maxx and clearance, of course, again, for $13 in Boston. Okay, so just in your crease area, outer V. Um, don't bring it all the way in your crease. For uh, hooded eye folks like myself, it's just going to really shrink what little uh, lid space that you have already. Okay, so just stop right about here. Okay, so outer V and just like wing it out just to give it a little bit of definition. This is a daytime look. We're not going to go heavy with this. Okay, so just blend all of this out. Just blend it out. Make sure everything is seamless. Okay, okay, just put a little eyeliner on the way you put your eyeliner on. Okay, I'm just going to give it a little bit of a wing. Okay, do some lash primer just to plump up our lashes because we're not going to be doing uh, falsies today, okay? And this is a really good uh, lash primer. And I'm going to use a Cargo Triple Action Mascara just to put over it after this dry. Okay, we want to look a little bit sculpted but not too much, so I'm using a Becca bronzer in the shade uh, Deep Bronze. Right, I use a lot of deep bronze products, so we're just, you know, doing a little bit just to kind of lightly contour our face, but we don't want anything too obvious. If you guys want me to, to show you, like, how to take, like, a look from this from day to night, then let me know in your comments, okay? So just, like, really lightly, I'll use a little bit, like, on my nose, just a small brush, and just take it up the side of my nose, just very, very subtle. We don't want to be like heavily contoured in the middle of the day. I mean, unless that's your thing, if you like that kind of look. Okay. Okay, I'm just going to do a little bit of highlight, and this is like very subtle. This is a MAC uh, Golden Bronze Loose Highlighting Powder. I'm just going to put a, like the tiniest bit, like you can barely see, okay? <laughs> you don't want to do a lot. Like I said, it's the daytime. You don't want to be just like blinding anyone or looking like a disco ball not in the middle of the day okay unless that's your thing I'm using my finger and I'm just putting just the barest amount down the bridge of my nose and that's it okay that is it let's not forget our blush and I'm using a Lauren Rensinger uh, this is a motifs blush okay that's what that looks like on the inside okay so just getting a nice bit of a wash of color and just add it to your cheek just to give you a little bit of color okay so we're just gonna line our lips I always use this is my favorite uh, lip liner this is the Sephora lip liner in a shade molasses and I'm using a crop lipstick in the shade spice so I'm keeping this kind of just all nude pretty much neutral nude okay so that's what that looks like Blot this out, we'll be right back. Okay, so we're just gonna do some setting spray, Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. <laughs> okay, okay guys, so this is it. This is our, our look is done. We did all this in under 10 minutes. Okay, um, it's just a quick everyday makeup look. If you have any questions about it, please leave it in the comments below. I love you guys, thank you so much for watching. See you next time, bye.